Kevin, talk to me about Saigon Gales coming to the AGG. Uh, we're delighted to be here. It's our second year here. Um, yeah, it fills me full, full of pride uh, coming here, playing with people from all over the world. Uh, we're on our team. We've got um, we've got players from four different nationalities. Uh, we have a local player uh, from Saigon, which we're very proud of, uh, and we're working on to build the uh, build the local local community more into the club uh, going forward. I heard that there was a ladies team in Saigon before the men's team. That's kind of unusual. How'd that happen? And it's incredible. The ladies, they are, they can put out two teams. And unfortunately, with uh, injuries, we only could have put out one this weekend. But um, yeah, they dominate uh, training. So we train together. Uh, and numbers-wise, the girls dominate. It's, uh, it's incredible. So they're in charge. Yeah, they're the boss. They're the boss. So we're, we're taking orders from them. But it sounds like it's a great family there. Oh, it's incredible, yeah. Uh, it's such a great community uh, and you're taking a bit of piece of Ireland back uh, to the other side of the world. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm running out of superlatives here. You have to pinch yourself sometimes and remind yourself you're in Bangkok. Yeah, other side of the world, playing in this heat, you'd never get a day like this at home, uh, even in the, the hottest day of summer. And it's, it's incredible, like our national game, it's a huge part of our identity and to bring it over here and see how widespread it is all over Asia and, and the world. It's, um, like I said, fills me full of pride. And what does it make you think of? Does it make you think of Dunboyne? Does it make you think of your coming up as a, a kid, your parents, your club? Yeah, it does, um, especially starting off uh, when, you're, when you join your local club and you're meeting, uh, meeting new players and, and new friends. And it, that's what it feels like, again, you're making new friends um, so yeah, a bit of nostalgia, um, bring you back to your younger days when, when your dad would be bringing you out to training. And, um, One thing I notice is that Irish guys love to see non-Irish taking up the game. They, yeah. they really embrace it and give them every encouragement. Yeah, yeah, and that, exactly. We were just talking that uh, off camera there, um, how great it is to see. We've, in our team, we've got Americans, Canadians, South Africans, uh, British, um, just to name a few. And it's just great to, that they're involved and they're so enthusiastic, they're so almost passionate. Um, so it's, it's great. There's not many countries in the world that has a, a national game that's, that's played as widespread as, as, uh, as Gaelic football. So. And why do you think it is that other nationalities get on to our passion? And, you know, they love that, they're drawn in by that. Um, I think because the, the Irish people the, that are involved in the clubs, they're very friendly. Like, we're known as the land of a thousand welcomes, and I think that's what people receive when they when they when they join clubs. Um, and a lot of it's hearsay, and you should get involved here. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're known for being friendly, welcoming, and uh, I think they really uh, appreciate that.